In summary, my internship at the Toronto Interpreter was, is a, a valuable learning opportunity. Any questions? What is the most important thing your mentor taught you? What are you doing? Claire. Stop Claire, it. no one has to know. No, I'm... Claire, you're overreacting. No! If you care about your career, you'll keep your mouth shut. Claire? Sorry, could you repeat the question? Uh, what did you learn from Asher Shostak? That no one will believe your story unless you have facts to back it up. Well, you managed to fake your way through that one. I can't tell Miss Oh I got fired until I have proof that Asher sexually harassed me, and the only way to do that is find another victim. But what if you don't? You've already talked to the last five interns. Maybe number six will be the charm? Look, I've got to hide out before someone sees me. Claire, this isn't like you, hiding out, obsessing. Once I fix this, everything will go back to normal, OK? Whoa. Are you chasing a criminal? <laughs> I'm, I'm just really late for my co-op, and, and I forgot something in my locker, so I have to go. Oh, well, can I get a kiss before you go spend all your time with Asher Pearson Blue Eyes Shawstack? <laughs> Oh, that's it? Rip off. I'm sorry, I'm just so late. without your ID tag. Well, Officer Turner and I go way back. Is that bro? Ionic covalent bonding. That sounds boring. It is. But my study buddy clown is keeping me entertained. Yeah. What's up? Pistons tickets? I thought we could drive down there tomorrow. Maybe hit up an outlet mall. Stay in a hotel room. Settle down, big spender. Oh, I got my first commission check last night. Let's just say I am flush with cash. Sounds awesome, but I have a huge chemistry test this week. Really? Come on, I never see you anymore. Well, we started a study group, so we're all going to be working at the loft tomorrow. Does that count? Yeah, I guess. <clears throat> Drew Torres, you're no longer a student here. Goodbye. Hey, bro, don't worry. I'll take care of your girl here at work. <laughs> Madam? Jennifer? Hi, uh, my name is Claire. I left you a bunch of voicemails. Okay, yeah, um, so I, as I said, I just have a couple questions for you about your internship with the interpreter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, I'm ready. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, hey, uh, can you clear out? I was here first. Yeah, whatever. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> what are you doing? It's happy hour. It's 11 a.m. Wish my mom taught me how to tell time. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, oh, buddy. Oh, cheers. Yeah, cheers. Ooh. Sorry, uh, oh, my phone cut out. So you gonna bring Blondie in your baker? I'm right. Come on. If there's any it's not like you got any luck with the grassy awesome. girls. It's because the grassy girls be crazy. Okay, hi. I'm on the phone here. Do you mind? You want one? Might loosen you up a little bit. <laughs> hey, let her be. Okay. Oh. What? <laughs> you can meet me right now? That is great. I will text you the address right away. Thank you. 
Oh, hey, don't leave us. Sorry, I've got a bigger showmanist pig to roast. All right, let's go. Let's chug this. It's all right. It won't take another summer, another spring, another, another fall. Now I have you. Now we must go. Don't need anything at all. <sighs> Save it for the stage, kissy face. <laughs> Break time. Dave, you're nailing Romeo today. You're very talented. Are you flirting with me? No. I have a rock star boyfriend. I have a girlfriend. You're still going out with Ali Bandari? She never comes by rehearsals. Uh, she's fast tracking to graduate this year. It's a lot of extra schoolwork. O M to the G. Pizza So Pizza just tweeted they're holding a contest at the mall. And the prize is a guest role on West Drive. I'm dying. I'm so dead. Dead. Uh, we should all go together. I can drive. Oh, guys, I love our cast showmance. Me too. But you losers know I'm landing this guest role, right? No, hell no. It's totally mine. <laughs> Diluted much? It's so mine. Thanks for meeting me, Jennifer. I found a ton of your articles online. How did you become so successful so young? Hard work, dedication. Plus, a glowing reference letter from Master Shostak opens a lot of doors. You interned during your senior year of high school? Yep. And through university. After that, I got hired full time. Did you work closely with Asher? Um, I fact checked, shattered most of his interviews, assisted with editing. Did you ever stay late? Sure, sometimes. Did you experience any inappropriate behavior by anyone, by Asher? You said this is for a class presentation. It's on sexual harassment in the workplace. Oh my God, you're Claire Edwards. That intern that got fired. No, wait, I just need to know if you ever- No, nothing like that ever happened to me at the interpreter. Jennifer was the last of Asher's interns. I'm at a dead end. Uh, please say you'll tell me so now. After all this time, will she even believe me? I messed up not reporting Asher right away. Now he's just gonna take everything I say and twist it around so it's my fault once again. I'm trapped. Well, what about Eli? He's a week from opening night. It'll just upset him. Yeah, but he'll be even more upset once he finds out that you've lied. I just want this so bad. Well, I'm happy to teach when the student is as eager as you are. I am very, very eager. You okay? No, I am not. You look like you could use a beer. <laughs> Let's go. Have a great day. Uh, what bug crawled up your butt? I stopped by my high school the other day, and I just, I, I felt so out of the loop with everything. My classes, my friends. Your crazy hot girlfriend? It must be hard to see her surrounded by guys who haven't dropped out. You think Bianca thinks I'm a loser? Uh, no. How could she? You've got the cash money. Spoil her. Well, I planned an overnight trip, but she couldn't do it. It was more than one way to splash your money around, DT. You could buy her a motorcycle. <laughs> no, too dangerous. A hovercraft. Too ridiculous. A pony! Wait, why are you stuck on modes of transportation? <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's my go-to. <laughs> oh, uh, Bianca's holding a study group at my place today. I gotta do something while she's there to prove to her I'm not a loser. <sighs> hey, Catherine. Your Heathcliff has a request. <sighs> this book is torture. Why so many pages? Does Emily Bronte have any idea just how much grade 12 calculus homework I have? So they're having a talent contest tonight at the mall, and the winner gets a guest role on West Drive. Oh. Come cheer me on. Um, I have... Oh, forget it. Yeah. Look, I'm sorry. Maybe you can come over to my place afterwards and give me a minute-by-minute -minute recap. What time? After I'm done my reading, I'll text you if it'll work. And apparently, he's had six interns, but I'm the only one he's ever tried to kiss, but maybe not. 
Maybe I'm the only one who complained about it, so I'm the only one who got fired. Every other girl just took the reference letter and went merrily on their merry way. Hmm. That sounds intense. And your boyfriend knows nothing about it? Ah! No. No, he would lose it. <laughs> you don't drink very much, do you? No, not, not ever, no. I'm drinking at school. That is not good. I shouldn't have told you all that stuff. I'm just going to stop talking. Talking is overrated. I heard that. Oh! Oh, what the... Just... What the hell? You're so gross. Why would you think that we were... You kicked off your shoes. And that's some secret code for let's make out? Unbelievable. <laughs> you invite me into a secret room, get hammered off with one beer, and I'm unbelievable? Ugh! Start sweeping and you can organize the plants need to be repotted. Oh, okay. Anything else, bossy? Yeah, one more thing. Uh, hey, aren't you supposed to be a co-op? Um, it was canceled today. Anyway, I, I gotta go. You guys are cute. Bye. Where are your shoes? Why do you smell like beer? to kiss me like you could get away with it with anything. Excuse me, I got to go kill a guy. Uh, wait, what? No, no, Dallas is harmless. Harmless? And Claire, look what he did. Mike Dallas wrecked this place? Yeah, him and his hockey goons. Well, what is Simpson doing about it? Well, we haven't told him yet. We have no proof. It would just be a wild accusation that Dallas can deny. Yeah, let's see how he denies it after I rearrange his face. It's not gonna do anything except get you in trouble. Yeah, well, we have to do something. My journalism senses are tingling. I could just be the beer. No. Hockey players need to be held accountable for this. They're not above the rules, and I'm going to make sure everybody knows it. How? An interview. With you, on the record. Hmm. You don't have to do anything. Sometimes wrong can feel so right. Here's a little something I cooked up on a DJ app last night. We needed a new TV, so are you guys ready to get you a 3D on? Oh, dude, sick. Yeah, I know. We're supposed to be studying. What, what you can't study and watch motocross in the background and the foreground? <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. It's like I'm actually right there. Yeah, I know. All right, guys, get ready, because I have tons of snacks. Crazy. So awesome. This is really cool. Wow. It is like the bike is coming out of the street. <laughs> Not being a man Not being lost 
Thanks for waiting for me to finish tech rehearsal. The janitor is looking to lock up the school. Almost done here. Whoa. Those are some serious accusations. With bulletproof facts to back them up, I have Jake and Katie statements, plus I found two grade 12 girls who saw Dallas and Luke leave the garden right after the vandalism. You might make some serious enemies with this, Claire. The ice hounds act like they're untouchable. 800 copies of this will prove that they're not. Okay, can I please have number three, number 25, yeah. and number 17 nice. step forward. Congratulations, you are our finalists. Yeah. You each win a pizza soap pizza platinum customer card that gets you free slices for a whole year. <laughs> All right, and now, the winner of the guest starring role on an upcoming episode of West Drive is... Number 17, Dave Turner. Yay. So, pizza slices on Dave? Yeah, sure. Gonna call Allie to come join us? Nah, look, if she wanted to be here, she'd be here already. Let's go celebrate. Oh my <laughs> God. You're gonna be oh, it's easy. It's like I'm riding a bike. Ooh, it is way later than I thought. But we didn't study at all. Oh, uh, I got a jettison too. All right, buddy. That good ace. <laughs> Guys, what about the chem test? Guess we're winging it. See ya. See ya. True. It was frisky time. No. Yeah. It's pounding energy drinks and cramming all night by myself time. Come on, just stay. It's one test. One flunk test might mean no university for me. Can you please stop talking about school for one second? It's a bit of a drag. No, it's called growing up. Well, I'm making money. You should be happy. I should be happy that you dropped out? So there it is. You think I'm a loser. No, I think you made a mistake. One that you can undo. And how's that? You can make up with your mom, move home, and come back to school. You're serious. The only way you'll be happy is if I do everything that I hate. I'm just worried about you, Drew. Audra said that... Audra said. Oh, so you and my mom are talking behind my back. Well, that's, that's just great. Okay, I need to go study. Can we just talk about this tomorrow, please? Why bother? I'm pretty clear on where you stand. You wanted to see me, sir? I want to talk to you about this article. I wrote the truth. They ruined the garden. That's outrageous. Jake Martin and Katie Matlin both spoke to me on the record. Your stepbrother and the disgraced ex-president. Reliable sources. Katie's had a vendetta against us since day one, and frankly, my team is starting to hate this school. Dallas, I apologize. But I have proof. Eyewitness statements and photos of the beer in the props room. Of empty cans, not my guys. I personally saw them bring alcohol onto the school property and drink it. You were enjoying them yourself just fine yesterday. So you admit the beer was yours? Fine, yes. But not the garden. It's called reasonable doubt. Damn. Claire, this article was published without my permission. You'll serve one week detention. Yes, sir. And in another two weeks for drinking on school property. You can go now. Dallas, let's make a call to your coach. Leave a message. Hey, Bianca, good luck on your boring chem test. I spent my day getting my M1 license and buying a motorcycle. So super busy being awesome. <laughs> Bye. Ah! Ah! My article worked. 
Simpson and the Ice Hounds coach are doling out punishments as we speak. Wait, justice actually prevailed? I'm stunned. Thanks, Claire. And here comes the backlash. Congratulations. Three weeks detention for an entire starting lineup, meaning we missed three games. With our star rookie injured, we could probably kiss a playoff spot goodbye. Oh, don't be all defeatist. I've heard of a comeback. You screwed us over. Yeah, well, now you know what it's like to have something you care about taken away from you. Aren't you two just the cutest? I did nothing to you. You mess with my friends, you mess with me. Just back off, Dallas. It's over. You like to air other people's dirty laundry in public? How would your boyfriend here like to know yours? What's he talking about? Dallas found a, um... I got fired from the interpreter a few weeks ago. See, I knew there was something going on with you. What happened? Asher... He... Didn't think I was good enough. He said I was a bad writer. But that doesn't make any sense. I thought... Writing this article and exposing the hockey team would help me get over it, but it didn't. I feel worse. What can I do? You can't do anything. No one can. I have math. Make it through. 